Hello everybody, I'm back again. So I'm finally here to do the tutorial on the little pockets that I had created. Um, hold on, I forgot to bring them. <laughs> uh, and these. So we are going to do the tutorial real quick. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to decorate one um, because I did two different ones now. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'll just make a video showing how I put each of them together. And then maybe you guys might want to join me to make one one of, of each. And then um, we can decorate it on the next video. So let's see. The first one that I made was this one. So I'll start with that one. This one over here. So um, basically what I used is just one of these envelopes. Now I should have measured them. Let's see, I think it's your average size. Yeah, nine and a half by, uh, four, a little, a little over four. And then the little one here, which I, I was, um, I don't have any more. I need to go in the garage and see if I have some more. So I found these, they're all different. So it doesn't matter what size uh, you can you can do it in any size and this one is almost a little over three and a half by six and a half so that's what I used um, to make those so let's get started um, so for this one all I did was fold a large one the large one in half now if you want um, on the video where I showed uh, these, I left or I cut open in here so that you could use it as a pocket. I added a little bit of glue to just divide it and you can tuck things in there now because I'm thinking of gluing them onto a journal and leaving the back to put stuff in there. I'm sorry, I'm making a video, Mama. So, um... I don't if I'm going to glue it and use it as a pocket I'm not going to leave those open but if I'm going to leave this and maybe give it to somebody as a gift or put it on the side of a journal then yes I can because you know I already have a lot of um, stuff that's making it bulky and if I add more in there it's just I think it's just going to be huge now unless you less I mean add less then yeah it'll work but that's totally up to you so in this process I'm not going to cut it for that simple well, you know what? Let's cut it. We're going to do it the the same way. So I'm going to get my um, paper trimmer. Will this one work? No. Okay. I don't want to pull out the big one. So I'm going to fold this in half. Am I in frame? Move this out of the way and come over here. So I'm going to fold this in half. And get your little bone folder. And press. I hope everybody's doing fine. I just jumped in, started talking. Sorry, guys. So then, this is our going to be our little tuck. So we're going to leave that alone. We're just going to cut a little sliver at the top to have that option of if we do want to add stuff in there. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. But I'm going to make it exactly like I did the first ones. So once you have this. <clears throat> you're going to grab your little um now you're going to grab your little envelope now we're going to seal it i'm going to use wet glue you can use glue stick you know whatever you want it's it's going to get collaged or covered so we won't have a problem with it coming up coming undone so then what i did is i closed my little my little um envelope here and then i take this one and i'm going to measure it from the the top to the bottom sorry if my head go, gets on the way guys but i just i'm trying to see where and i think it's right there then again add our bone folder and just press so this is what we should have a little pocket so we need to open the top part so I'm gonna cut that little 
beady beady piece. I'm trying to uh, not confuse you guys because I tend to do that sometimes. I'm like everywhere. My mind is just like boom, 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 you know. I have samples here already sewn together. So this is, um, we opened that. So this is what we have now. So now at this point, um, what you want to do is sew it. But I prefer to collage it first and then sew it only because I don't want the collage to cover my my um my my stitching around it. So but it's it's totally up to you. Um you don't have to do anything. I'm just going to put it together. You could still sew it even though it's together just so you know how it goes. And then if you want to collage before or after after you collage it's it's up to you. So from this point I got you can use any type of fabric. I found this at a thrift store. I don't know what kind of fabric it is. Um, it's kind of um, elasticy. <laughs> Patty, my friend, told me what it is, and um, you know that went out the window. My my memory um, doesn't seem to um, record <laughs> certain things. <laughs> So I'm just going to measure it. I know it's a little bigger, but that's fine. And let's put this away. And like I said, you can use any kind of linen fabric, whatever you have on hand. Now this, I'm going to go ahead and cut it again because I don't need that, that much of a, a huge um, piece. So I'm just going to hold it and just cut it in half. You could use a whole piece, but why waste time? So I'm throw that over there. So now what I'm going to do is to this bottom part here of this pocket, we're going to glue half of this here. We're going to grab some wet glue. I may think you should use some wet glue. Although when I stitch, I usually stitch on that edge. But um, you don't have to stitch if you don't want to. I know a lot of us don't have a sewing machine or don't like to sew. I know I've, people have told me that. <laughs> so, you know, it's the sewing is optional. It'll still look cute, whatever, stitching or not, you know. So cut that. Oops. Okay. So then that's glued in there. So now we're going to grab our big envelope. We're going to make sure that our flap here is to the bottom because that's going to be our little tuck. So we're going to close it. And we're going to bring this one. And this one's going to go here. Now on mine, as you can see, I put it to the side. You don't have to put it all the way to the edge here. You know, you could put it more in the center. That's up to you. I chose to put it up to the... um. The left side so that's what i'm going to do with this one so again make sure my little flaps are in the bottom this one is going to go like this so i need to glue this piece to this piece now so i am going to this is what we're going to do okay so i'm going to turn this around and i'm going to put some glue I gotta make sure I'm in frame. Okay. So then, bottom, I'm gonna put it this way only because it's easier for me. Let that flap open. And then just press. And so this is what we should have. And then all it is now, this is going to go up. So this is where we're going to put our little tag. We're going to decorate our little image there. This is going to come down, decorate here. This one, oh, I forgot to say, we're supposed to cut that open. See? I always got to get something wrong. Open. Still do it even though we already glued it. So if you forget to, don't worry about it. There's always a way. <laughs> so, 
there you have it. This is the way it's just put together. For those of you that wanted to know, I just use little pieces of fabric. And then um, put that there. Now for this one, my sample, where did it go? This one. The sewing, like I said, the fabric, well, this one, I glued it to the back. When you open this, there's my fabric. I ended up holding the, um, I'm sorry, gluing this one different, but it's almost the same thing, except I left the fabric on this side now. But you sew, all you got to do is a straight stitch. Make sure this flaps out when you sew. Or you can sew them before you put them together. And just a, a straight, not a straight stitch, a zigzag or a straight, whatever you prefer. Just around to make sure this flap stays up. That's all we want it to do. And then um, I glued it before because I wanted to make sure that the stitching would make sure my little pocket does not fall. And then here, I wanted it also as well. So what I did is I just opened this and stitched it right there and then I just did another stitch right here not so much that it needs it it's because I like the way it looks <laughs> so you don't need it here as well you don't need to stitch if you don't have a sewing machine just put a little uh, dab of glue and you know it'll keep it closed if you don't want to sew or you don't have a sewing machine just a dab of glue as long as this flap does not come down we're good so that is how this one is done hopefully i don't confuse you guys because i tend to do that remember our envelope make sure the flaps backwards sew a straight stitch and then this one measure it the height and then choose if you want it in the center or at the end and there you have it so now you just go with your sewing machine if you do sew on this side like me make sure this flap is open so that you don't sew that and then so you sew here and then you open it all up and when you do the straight stitch on here it's going to automatically sew this stitch i feel like once i start explaining more in detail to me it makes sense and i feel like i'm confusing you guys but this is the way uh you do it so you choose to sew before or after, you know. So that's this one. Now I'm going to hush on this one. Oh, and then after this, distress it and collage. You could also, see these are my samples that I did already. You could still collage even though it's already sewed. It's no big deal. I'm just going to make sure that I do not uh, cover my sewing because I like the stitching to show. So that's that one. The next one was... This one, which is this little baby one. So we have a flap there, flap there. And then we have our envelope back here. So this is all it is. There's my fabric. On this one, I only sewed on these actual pieces, not on this, only because I don't want it. I didn't want it to um well, actually it shouldn't matter actually it would help to close this flap huh that could work well no not on this one no i don't know it's optional but anyways let's let's do this one now hush patty so we again we're going to need a big envelope and we're going to need a small envelope again this one is always folded in half And then we're going to open the top part. So we're going to open it, make sure where our, our tabby is at the bottom. And then I am going to just a little sliver just to open them. Now for this one, we just need to cut it in half for this pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Actually, you know what? I didn't glue this envelope. Let me glue this envelope real quick. Oh. These have been sitting there forever. And I know some of them are really old. And I guess they're already sealing themselves. 
So we are going to seal that baby. So now all I wanna do is fold it in half so I make sure I have the correct size and just press right there. Got my little crease. So now I'm gonna get my little trimmer here and I am just gonna to go to that crease there and cut. Move this out of the way. So now we have our two little um, pockets, which as you can see, you're gonna have that. You just gotta go and put your little glue in there. Make sure it stays shut. Even on this part, see? I like to go back, which I thought I did on this side and I didn't. And then in here, again, just to make sure nothing gets stuck to our little tags that we're going to put in there. Whoops. Huh, what did I do with my little... There it is. My little dot of glue was coming out. Okay, so now we got that. Make sure I didn't glue it shut. And we're good. Because sometimes glue tends to come out a little bit. Okay, so we got those ready. So now all we have to do is, again, make sure a little flap is down. I know I'm annoying with that, but trust me. <laughs> you need to be checking. So then this is going to go here. And then this one is going to go here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab a piece of fabric. And we are going to turn them around and glue it to the edge. Glue it to the edge here. And all the way to the to the envelope. Okay, and then we let that one dry. Now we're gonna start with this one. And then whoops. just that so now we are going to cut the excess and on this one I always go at an angle I don't know why or maybe it's the fabric that moves on me and I was very ex happy, excited, surprised that I got so much um, comments on these little pockets, which I totally love. And I knew you guys were going to love them, but, <clears throat> you know, it was, it was overwhelming. It was, it was exciting for me. I was like, oh my God, you know, sorry, that's me. <laughs> so then again, make sure my flaps are there. So now we start gluing this. And I want them in the center. So, again, my glue. And I'm going to turn it around. Put some glue. Oops. And I'm just going to pop this baby. I hope my head doesn't get on the way. And right there. So now we're going to grab our other one and we're going to do the same thing. And then again, forgive me about my head. A little more up. Yeah, right there, I think. So there, just centering as best as I as I can and then just press down. And there is our little pockets. You could put the fabric on this side. Um, it's really totally up, up to up to you. I just put it on the inside. 
um, but yeah see there you go so cute so there you have it and then from this part you distress it and then you go and sew it again i just sewed on this pocket side i didn't touch the envelope at the bottom just to ensure that it stays stitched and i did that on both sides i didn't do anything here you can if you want to but if you are going to insert things here you're just gonna it's just gonna make the pocket a little smaller but that's fine it's still a big pocket so that shouldn't be a problem and then here again on this one you're just gonna sew a straight or zigzag stitch just to keep that flap up but yeah there we have it and did i open this one i did not open this oh my god okay well, i didn't want to open them anyways <laughs> but you could still do it i thought i did no huh not on this one i mean you could still do it just make sure my little thready la threadies are down and then just snip so i'm gonna leave it like that because i don't know like i said i'm thinking of just doing some without that but there you have it that's that's the way you construct this one. Oh, this one i think this one moved Oh, make sure. Yeah, I think this one. Um, I think this one moved a little bit, but regardless, it's still cute. But yeah, this one drops a little. I don't know if you could tell. Well, not that much. I pulled it too much, but it drops a little bit. Oh well. When it's all um, decorated, you're not gonna tell. <laughs> So that's it, guys. That's how you do that one. And then I made, came up with two more similar um, way of putting together. And um, I thought I'd share and see what you guys think. Put that paper clip so I don't get them confused. I just went ahead and did the same thing. Envelope, opened the top, stitched on the bottom. That stayed the same. But I just added just one hanging flap that's it nothing else but i did open it on the side so that you could tuck something in here but just a, a more simpler but also cute so that's what i'm thinking of doing there and then just just my my de decoration there that pocket and in here so this one's more simple but it's cute too and then again the same idea but well this one i went ahead and distressed and I found this envelope from an advertisement on some stuff I purchased at a thrift store. Um, I used it because it was the same size. And, you know, we're going to uh, collage it so it doesn't matter if it has stuff in there. So you could use used envelopes or, you know, um, envelopes like this that are already stamped. Anyway, so on this one, what I did is I left it the same as this one, but the flap instead of cutting it off i folded it up so that you could have a pocket in here and then you still have this pocket here i opened the envelope on the side so you could either pull it when it's down here if i can pull oh my god tonta. i sewed it okay i forgot to take out the journaling card when i sewed it <laughs> don't do that <laughs> my god i cannot believe i did that yeah this was supposed to be a tab that um a journaling card that i put in there well it's not decorated but i sewed it and i forgot to take the journaling card out so don't do that guys just sew it first and then make the journaling card but now well it may just stay there as decoration and i guess now i have i could put stuff in front of the tab and behind the tab <laughs> so yeah that wasn't supposed to happen but yeah i don't know what you guys think about this one and then this one opens like that so uh hopefully next video i will have these decorated or we can decorate all of them together and um this one is the same as the other one i just put the envelope here measured it but i i didn't i left the border as you can see i didn't measure it all the way to the end on this one i just wanted to leave a little bit of a border and then just little pocket there and then like i said uh, that 
but you guys know it happens <laughs> and that's the same thing you grab a large envelope fold it in half make sure i'm in frame guys fold it in half and again you just measure turn it this way i want it in the center so you measure it to the you know wherever you want it like i said i don't want it all the way to the end make sure and then just um on this one you would just open <clears throat> actually you wouldn't open the top you'd open the bottom so you would cut the edge pop that back in there so you would want to open it all the way and then you would bring this up but you don't want to sew to close this flap you want to use glue because you want to make sure you don't close this like well, almost like the other one <laughs> so you would just grab your glue and hold on make sure these flaps don't open so you'd close that let me fix this real quick I'm going to make sure it doesn't open. So there you have your cute little pocket in here. You still want to get to the edge too close because it's still wet. You know what? I didn't close that one. Ah, of course it has to happen in camera. I took it as because it's already kind of sealed on its own, but it wasn't all the way up here. So yeah, seal the envelope before you do this. Now let's see if it goes in better. Yep, it does. So then once you have that, you grab your fabric. I'm going to have to cut another piece because I don't have no more. So I'm going to say there. I can cut straight with these scissors. Where am I? 27. I don't want it to go over 33 because it starts a new video. I need to invest in a camera. That's what I need to do. Okay. So then again, you grab your envelope. Well, this is going to go like that. Now, for this one, the flap goes up. You don't have to put it that way. You can put it on the bottom. But then the pocket will go down so that's but it's optional you can do it that way you could also put it like this so you can have your tuck there and when it closes that way see what i'm saying and your pocket will be the right size so it's really you know the way you want it i'm going to put it to open up no yeah to open up but with the pocket like this so i'm going to grab this and we're going to start gluing it and actually i want it on the inside yeah not on the inside so put my glue i keep scooting to this end over here because i'm so used to working on this area and i know the camera should be right here <laughs> okay and then we're gonna cut off But this kind of uh, fabric on the bottom, sometimes little white pieces of fabric, it's hard to find. See, there's another one. <laughs> okay, so then we got that glued. So now we can make sure it's the right way. And this one, I want it like this. So 
You got to put glue on this edge. Sorry about my head, guys. But I figured, yeah, I figured I'd make two videos. That way, you know, some people want to just know the the how to put it together. And then they want to do their own thing. So, I figured if I do it this way, people don't have to watch the whole video of me decorating it. They could just see the way it goes, you know, put together. And then they can go and do their thing. Now, if they want to decorate with me, then they can watch the next video. So, but yeah. I know some people were asking, well, how, how did you put them together? How did you attach them? So, yeah, it's just a little piece of fabric. And like I said, you can use any fabric you want there you have it that's this one here now all I'm going to do is take it and sew it I got my pocket here you could even open this and add a tag in there and because we have a little bit of an edge if it hangs out it it's not or you can just make it a little smaller so that the tag doesn't come all the way down but yeah that's that's optional to un uh, uh ah. To open the top and then still have this little pocket here but that's it guys that's the way they're put together so now like i said i just got to go to my sewing machine do my little zigzag stitch right there and then i'm going to open this one and i'm going to zigzag right there before i create my card that i want to put in there <laughs> but that's it this is um the way you put them together so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Got my little um, my little um, paper clips things holding everything together. Actually, I'm gonna put it on this side. And this one, well, I didn't do a sample, but I just cut the envelope and then just added it there. So yeah, guys, hope that helps. Um, I hope I don't confuse you. If I do, please let me know. And um, I'm hoping later on today, if not tomorrow, we can decorate a couple of these together and see how, how um, that way, you know, if I didn't explain something correctly, I can, I guess, give it another shot. <laughs> but I hope, you know, you guys understood or I, I made sense, I should say. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by, guys. I will see you guys in my next um, channel or channel video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye-bye.